Hey everybody, thanks for coming. Tonight I'm going to be doing a kit. My first, so be gentle with me, please. I have the lovely Angela Holt joining me tonight. Hello, ladies. Say hi, everybody. Let's see who's here. Let's just see who's in the house. I see Lee is here, Michelle Martin, Shan. Uh, let's see, Phyllis. Catherine. Hi, uh, Catherine. Phyllis. Pam. And of course, Karen. Karen's in the house. Dawn. Hey, Dawn. Hey, everybody. Well, thank you all for coming. And I'm going to get started with what I'm going to share with you. Now, I ha I'm doing a Christmas ornament kit. And I know there's been a lot of them done. But I just wanted to give a little my take on it. So. What I'm going to be working with is these little, um, well, they're not little, they're pretty good size plastic ornaments that just snap together, okay? And everything I'm going to be working with will be in your kit. Now, I have three kits left. Um, they've already sold a couple of them, so there's only three left. So if you want one, just give, let me know. So this is what we're going to be working with. This is the base. And I'm only going to be working with one side of this right now because I have to build a little diorama in the back of this. You're also going to be getting a doily, a little doily like this. You're going to be getting a little, pr a little frame. And what I've done is printed off Mary and Jesus and put that in the frame. Now I will include this, the picture, along with the frame, and you can see it's got glitter on it. Because I did put some snow texture on the top of here and on the bottom just to give it that wintry look. You're also going to be get a little bottle brush tree that I did bleach out. These were green. My tongue is not working tonight, guys. And then I've just put some texture on there to make it look like snow and glitter. So you're going to get that. Here. Oh, it's got that glitter. <laughs> Absolutely. Glitter is like little mini bling. Heck yeah. And then you're going to get this adorable little bird. Say hi, birdie. Oh, yes. Those are the birds I used. Aren't Love they adorable? And just look at all the sparkles in it. It's almost like an iridescent. Now, I did add a little bit more glitter to him just because I like sparkly. But he's got little pearls on the side. He's just adorable. I just love him. And let's see, we got the frame. I've got a variety of flowers that I'm going to be working with. Um, and you'll get a bundle of each one of these. And you'll also get a bundle of these. And various other flowers that I'm going to be working with. Um, some of them you get a bundle. Some of them will be individual because I don't have bundles left. But you should get at least one or two of each one to work with. Okay. Then we also have some trim that's going to be going around the edge of the ornament like this. And it's got little beads on it. It's like a gimp with beads. Isn't that our pearls, not beads, pearls? I know, I love that stuff. Yes. Okay. Now I made you'll also I made a bow. Now this I'm out of ribbon, so I do have to get some more ribbon to put in it. But this is just a bow that I made, and I'll show you what I'm gonna do with it. But you'll get the ribbon and a different kind of a smaller ribbon, maybe. Um to use on the kit as well. I'm also going to include a snowflake um, in the kit. Now I'll show you what I'm gonna do, what I may do with the, the, the snowflake. Um, this is just an option for you, whether you wanna use it or not, um, that'll be optional. Also, you're going to get 
this little um, a little crystal which we're going to dangle from the bottom of the ornament okay and you're going to get either the little church already made up or I can send you the chipboard in the pattern um, this is a pattern that I made um, so I can either put it together for you or you can just get the pattern, whichever one you like. Or I can give you both. You just one. Yeah, just let me know which one you want. And also, this is this is a little beaded steeple that I made, and you'll get that as well. Okay. Now, what I did with this, this is made out of chipboard, and all I did was take some um, some of my homemade snow mixture that I did in my last video, put that on here, and then glittered it up. So it looks like snow on the church, okay? So with all of that, and then I have some other little, like there's little snowflakes that I'm gonna be putting in there that you can use. And then I have some of these little silver balls that I'm gonna be using as well. So all of that, everything that I'm gonna be using and probably a little bit more will be included in your kit. So what I'm gonna do first is, got my handy glue gun ready. What I want to do here is I want to put the um, doily on the inside. And the reason that I'm putting it up here like this is because, number one, I think it's pretty. And number two, I want to give kind of a background because this is plastic. So this is kind of slippery on the surface. And I'm going to be putting these little dioramas in here, the pieces to the diorama on the inside. So this is going to give it just a little bit of tooth, a little bit of stability. And I'm just getting that so that it's centered on the inside of the ornament. And I'm just going to dab some glue here and there, not a lot, just enough to hold it. Oh, I know the other thing you're going to be getting is buffalo snow. Oh, you've got to yeah. have snow. Oh, you've got to have snow. And pearls, too. There's pearls. There's also pearls. But I'm going to do something a little bit different with the pearls than what you might think. So there we have the doily on the inside and all kinds of glue strings and a dog barking. Which probably means someone is here. Okay. So that's what we have so far. Now I want to take this. I just love this frame. I think this frame is adorable. But before I glue the frame in, I want to beat my dog. Can I do that real quick? I want to show you. Um, I did take some of these, these little stems right here, okay? And I did put some snow texture and some glitter on there just to give it the appearance of snow. And what I thought about doing with this is to take this and I wanted to kind of drape it across the top of the picture and down it, okay? Because the way I got this to do this, I'm going to show you a trick, is these come on a wire. And what I did is I just cut this. I'm not going to cut this whole thing because I might use this for something else. But once you get the paper off of there, you just kind of hold on to this and get your wire. See the wire in there? Take your wire and just start pulling. And this wire, I've got hand lotion on my hands. Let me grab my pliers. And this was one of those accidents. I was trying to do something else and discovered this. So it was a blooper that turned into something pretty cool. So you just hold the wire and just pull it out. You can take the wire out and you see how pliable that becomes? It's completely movable so that you can form it and drape it, put your snow texture on it. Makes it really, really cool. You have to excuse my hands, guys. Working in a greenhouse, they're hit. They are hit, I'm telling you. So, what I want to do is take one of these, and I've done this with three or four of them, 
um, you see how they move around it makes it really nice to be able to shape these around your forms so let me just glue this to the back right here I want to get it started and then you see how you can shape it so that it drapes however you want it to go I thought that was really cool really cool so I'm just gonna glue that right there and hold that for a little bit and again you can keep shaping this and gluing this down the way that you want it I keep forgetting I have to get this closer because it's little it's little stuff we're working with so I'm just going to glue these down a little bit. I don't want to cover up Mary and Jesus. I just want to add a little something to it. Here we go. And you can still bend these, even though it's got the snow text on it, or snow texture. Uh-oh, I dropped it. Okay. So now these little silver, oh, I just busted my fingernail. I'm going to take these little silver balls, and I'm just going to glue on a couple of them. Well, three to be precise. I need one of those little sticky, those, those things that you use for beads. Oh, I know. I need to get one of those. Those things look amazing. Because you can use them for even tiny stuff like this. I know, because I, I, all kinds of stuff rolls off my desk. And when you oh, know. and it's so little, that when I run my vacuum cleaner, it go, you hear like I'm just yeah. like, ding, 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 yeah. Okay. So there, it kind of looks like a little garland. It's really fuzzy, isn't it? Jan says his kit has balls. <laughs> it has balls. Big balls, Jan. Big balls. Now, I also have... I have taken another little group of flowers. Where did it go? Oh, here it is. And I wrap these together. There's uh, one, two, three, four, five that I wrap together in a group and I put some snow text on it and some glitter and I didn't cut these off yet because I want to see where I want to put them but I was thinking of maybe putting it at the bottom of the frame like so but we'll see so now that I have that part done I'm gonna go ahead and glue the, um, the frame into I'm going to glue this right into the back of this. And that's why I wanted a little something for this to grab onto because I tried messing with this, just the plastic, and it was sliding everywhere. So let me just make sure I have this straight. Okay. Whoops. I'm getting some feedback from somewhere. Clint is here. Hey, Clint. And he made a YouTube channel. Awesome. You have to send me the link, Clint, so I can check it out. Oh, boy, glue strands everywhere. Okay, I'm just holding that for a little bit. Okay, there is that part of it with the picture frame. Now, what I want to kind of do here is maybe build up some, like, little branches. They kind of look like trees, maybe, mm -hmm. inside. Okay, using these little sprays. And I'm not even sure what these are. 
Um, but I thought they were really cool. So I'm going to put some. Oh, I don't. And see how they, they just flop around. I like that. They're floppy. They're floppy trees. So I'm just going to put some glue there. Like so. Oh my goodness, the glue strings are everywhere. And I think we'll build up maybe even a couple more. Yep. Yep, we're going for it. We're going in. We're going in. Do it. Win it. Now, you guys, of course, can do these however you want them, should you get the kit. Um, I'm just giving you some ideas on what you what you might could do with it. So I think it's awesome so far. Thank you, honey. So just working these in. Okay, see how we have oops. That's what we have so far. Now, the tricky part to this is going to be let me see if the fall a little bit there or not. Nah, I don't think I like that. But I'll still you'll still get those flowers. Okay, this is where I'm going to have to be a little creative um, because I want the church to go in front of the picture frame, okay, at an angle. But it's going to have to, part of it is going to have to be glued on this side, and then it will just sit flat when you put the two sides together, if that makes sense, okay? So I'm going to have to turn this in my direction so I can see where this needs to be glued. I want to make sure that I've got it centered. And I'm just going to add a little bit of glue at a time to get this in here. I'm going to have to hold it. And as soon as I get this glued, I'll be able to show you better. I hope. Now, I'm also including those snowflakes, like I said. And I'm going to try and incorporate those in here inside as well. Okay, we're going to have to. Hmm. I'm going to have to hold for a minute because it's plastic. It's going to take a minute for it to grab. So I'm going to have to hold it. But let me see while I'm holding it if I can show you. So I put it at an angle because I still want to put this sisal tree in here as well. Just to give it that wintry feel. And it'll look a lot more wintry once I put the buffalo snow in here. Okay, I think that's holding now. Okay. All right, now I want to put this tree, the sisal tree. Now these sisal trees will come with a little um, base on it. I pulled that off because it's really thick and it, it was too big. But I did leave a wire on it just so that I could attach it. And what I'm going to do is glue the sides of this rather than the bottom because that is not a big enough surface to glue on. So I'm just attaching the tree to the other little faux trees and to the church. Okay. okay. Now, let me see if I can get one of these snowflakes in here. Yes, yes, I can. Okay. I'll show you what I'm doing here in just a minute. This is one of those. This and that. And the house kit were ones that were, because of the, the shapes of it, it was hard to show 
the angle of it. You know, hard to show exactly what you're doing. Okay. Oh my word. All right, there's what we have so far. Can y'all see that? That's our little winter scene thus far. Now, like I said, you'll get a whole um, you'll get a whole batch of these, so you can make as many as you want. Put it in any way that you want. So now I'm going to attempt to put the buffalo snow in here, which I'm going to have to just pour on top. Okay. So. Hey, a good, oh, hey, Robin. Before yeah. You do, that, do you have a dryer sheet? No, I don't. Or what about like a, a piece of parchment paper? Mm, wax paper. Uh, it has to be parchment. But anyway, if you use a dryer sheet, mm -hmm. you rub the inside of that ball, it will take the static out of it and the ball, the snow won't stick to the side. How top. awesome an idea. And of course, I'm out of dryer sheets. Yeah, no, I don't have either one of those, so. I use liquid downy, so I'll never have any. Yeah. So, I'm just going to pour it right on top of the, there it goes, it's all covered in snow. This is so beautiful. Thank you, honey. This is definitely going to be a... Uh, conversation globe or a conversation ornament. Okay, we got too much snow in there though. We have to take a little bit of it out. And that's what the um, purpose of. I don't want to cover up my frame. If you hear my husband in the background laughing, I can hear him laughing. What is he watching? I don't know, but he's just a laughing. He's watching something funny. I'm make sure this snaps together so that my snow doesn't go flying. Okay, so there we have a little. For a scene with Mary and Jesus. Aww. So, let me clean up some of this excess snow. I may oh, need a little... Robin. Huh? That's so beautiful. Oh, thank you, honey. You scared me. All right. Now, I do have... This is where the, um, the gimp trim is going to come in. And you'll get a piece long enough to go around your your ornament. And it's just going to go right around the edge of the ball like this. Okay? So I've got to clean this up. I can't stand this. Because it's a mess. It's going to get all over everything. Oh, girl. I have got diamond dust and fairy glitter everywhere. Yeah. I've been cleaning for two. Angela has done an amazing ornament that um, she'll be uploading the video either late tonight or tomorrow. Y'all have got to check it out because it is incredible. It's not an ornament. It's well, not an ornament, but a decoration. What do you yes. call it? Is yes. that what you call it, a decoration? Okay. Yes, it's a, a piece you set out for Christmas. Yes, it is. And I want it. It's gorgeous. And no, it will not be a kid, I don't think, will it? Uh, cost too much. Yeah. And you'll see why when you see it. And that's all I'm allowed to say. I've been sworn to secrecy. So, here we go. And as with any kit, you know, you do it the way you want it. Uh -huh. How you think it looks good. Yeah, because that's the way my kids are. Some people like to say they're incomplete or they're crappy or whatever, but they're not. They're intended for 
the person that gets it to look at the product and to revamp it, add their own twist to it. That, that is just my take. Right. Like the house kit. Yeah. Like, God, I love that kit. I know. A lot of people chose to do it the way I did. So, but, but you got full product to work with. and Absolutely. You can use that product for other things. You know, I am just, I love it when a kit can lend me to be my own artist. Absolutely. Ruby, she's like the queen of that. Ruby is amazing with her kits. I mean, oh my gosh. Oh, you guys, what do you see? On now? Oh. oh my gosh. Let me just say, I wish I could sh shrink myself. That's all I'm saying. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. So there we have that with the trim around it. Okay. Now I want to, I think what I want to do, I'm not sure if I want to use this big bow or not, but we'll see. I just love that. That little church is just, oh, you're so gifted, sweetie. Thank you, honey. I take that as a real compliment coming from you. Oh, honey, I knew. I knew. You just had to need the time to shine. Now, what I'm going to do is I am going to put this bow on here. Um, but I want to show you another Bye. option. Chat with you later. Hope everything's okay. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Okay. Now I'm just cutting off this little hanging part that was on here. Now this is an option. You could either make this so that it hangs or you could glue this to um, this snowflake, this great big giant snowflake, and set it somewhere. Oh, so that could be optional. So, yeah, I would include that right. with the kit. Yeah, well, that, I am including this with the kids. So they have the option of doing either or. But I'm still going to go ahead with the um, – now, if you don't do that, what I'm going to do is – oops. I want to glue this little dangle, this little crystal dangle that will also be included. Um, again, you don't have to use this. You could even put this on the inside. That would be pretty too. Because if you put this on your tree and you got this little crystal hanging for it, it's going to sparkle. And we love sparkles. So I have to turn this just a wee bit so that I can see where I want this to hang. I think right about there, underneath the church. Just going to add a little bit of glue. Now, I tried to figure out a way to put this on like a wire or a string or something and, and put it inside the glue, but it wouldn't, sh or the ball, it wouldn't shut. So. We had to kind of go with plan B, but I think rather than use the um, hot glue for this because it might just come off, I would use something like E6000 um, to adhere yeah. it. Yes, I would. So, And what that will, that will allow it to stay intact with years and years right. of displaying it. Right. So there you have the little dangle on it okay i'm just gonna lay that there and let that dry a little bit more because this is pretty heavy um so i may have to add Love it. hang out I'll be right. okay gonna have to let it hold let it grab grab baby grab 
I have I have a broken a chipped fingernail and it's driving me insane. Seriously insane. Okay, there, I think we have that now. So as you can see, it will hang again with the angle. I'll have to take pictures later and put them up um, so that you can see what it looks like hanging. Um, but again, I am going to give you that big um, snowflake so that you have the option of, if you don't want to put it on your tree, if you think it might be a little bit too big, you can turn it into a tabletop ornament, okay? So I am going to use... First, I have I told you I was gonna have some pearls that also will be included. And I'm just going to make a hanger out of the pearls. Okay. So I'm just gonna cut off some of these pearls. And I want to glue this on before I glue the bow. It'd just be easier. Sorry, y'all. Can I hear me? Michaela in the background. Okay. So now we have the hanger, the pearl hanger. Okay. We've got the little bobble. Now. Get this is just absolutely gorgeous. Thank you, hon. Oh, anybody gets this kit, uh, hello. So now I'm going to put the bow. And I, I kind of, I think I like the big bow. What do you guys think? Would you like a bigger bow or a smaller bow? No, I like the big bow because that's a big piece. <laughs> it is. And I think if it was too small, it might get lost. Yeah. It might get lost it. Glue it on. She, it, it will be easy, she said. Just glue the bow on. <laughs> It'll be easy. Now, I gotta sit and hold this for a second. I don't wait patiently well, y'all. I just don't. And if you're doing this and you don't, you know, this is for purposes of this show, but if I were you and you're doing this at home, I would most definitely use E6000 to adhere Absolutely. the church down, the, uh, the frame to the dolly, maybe do a little bit with the dolly. Definitely uh, with the trim on the outside. And the dangle the dangle and the pearl and the bow because yeah. you can think you once you're done with this you're going to be putting it back up in a cold environment to hot environment you want to laugh right. Right. So there we have that now we're going to put our beautiful little bird on here because I, I have to use this little bird i love this little bird but oh i have to look at it from my angle Let's see. Oh, yeah. He's going right there. Let me just move oh. him on oh. here. Robin, I knew you were this talented girlfriend. Thank you, sweetie. I appreciate that very much. I just love this little bird. Okay, so there we have the little bird on the ornament. And I think what we want to do is maybe add just a couple of white flowers because these kind of reminded me. If you look at these, they've got little stamens. Uh huh. These kind of look like little poinsettias. Uh, oh, yeah, they do, don't they? Put some glitter on them. Yeah, good idea. Good idea. Where is here? It is. Put some glitter on them things. Got to glitter them babies up. Stay. Okay, just gonna put a little bit on the mat here. 
She's got three kits left, and if you want one, you got to contact her, and she will invoice you through PayPal. Yes. It is too dang gone cute. Okay, so I'm just taking some glue with my finger and just dabbing it on there. And I know I want another one, so Mots will do it right now. And these do get a little smooshed. When you get them, you're probably going to have to straighten them out a little bit. Gail said Sparkulicious. Ooh, thank you, Gail. Girl, you've got 30 people here. That's awesome. Thank you all for coming. I really, 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 really appreciate that. I know it's a Thursday night. It's a work week. It's, you know, dinner, homework, all that stuff. So, honest to goodness, I appreciate y'all coming. I really, really do. Sincerely do. Because without you guys, we wouldn't be doing this stuff. Remember, give Robin a thumbs up. Okay, now let me uh, The my... kit is $30 or and, uh, plus shipping. and shipping will be very, very economical so that we can get, she can get that out there to you. And I am shipping international, so. Oh, yes, international as well. This is her first kit. So excited. Gotta tell you, got the butterflies in the belly. Gotta tell ya. I'd be lying if I said I didn't. Okay, so we sparkled it. Let me put my... I was working on my house, finishing up the, the roof. And I still have to finish that video with the Santa in it and show you how I made the, the Santa boots going down the chimney. Because, you know, it's got to have a little whimsy. Oh, yeah. But I put the, the lid on, and I thought I put the lid on. I went to start shaking, and the lid came off, and I was freaking out. Like, no! Oh, wow. See, I got that same glitter. Yeah, oh. Walmart. Uh -huh. Two ninety nine, I think it was. Very inexpensive, and it, I mean, I've had this for over a year. It says two ounces, but like I said, I've had, and I've used this on every project that I've been working on for Christmas, and I still have some left. It is getting a little low, but, and I love it because it's kind of like an, you probably can't see it real well, but it's almost got like an opalescent glimmer to it. Yeah. So. It's a very fine powder. Yeah, it's called diamond glitter. Oh, Patsy said to add a little bit of that glitter in the kit. That would be cool. Absolutely, I can do that. Absolutely. So they can glitter it up. Gotta have glitter, baby. Absolutely, I can put some glitter in there. And I want to put one over here on the other side. I just can't. I was playing with these earlier, and I thought, wow, those actually do look like poinsettias. So I'm just kind of holding this down a little bit. And we may want to do one more. I don't know. Maybe. So there we have the little poinsettias around the body. Okay. And I have some of these really pretty um, little roses that I'm also including, um, which I thought maybe I would do because I have this little bundle that I already did that I might just make an arrangement and put it down here on the bottom. Oh, yeah, on the top of the where the, the dangle is. Yeah, like right there. Okay. So I'm going to, I, I want it down on the bottom though, because I don't want to cover up the church. Yeah. So I'm going to glitter oh, these. Yeah, yeah, here. yeah. That's, a, yes. That's a perfect touch. And I'm going to glitter up the leaves too. 
cause they need because you everything can, needs glitter. You can contact Robin through Facebook here on YouTube or in the Craft Chat Facebook group. Yes. Okay. Oh, there we and you could put, you know, it, you can glitter these up as much as you want. I just want to give it a little sparkle. Did I? Yeah, I did. Okay, now I am going to cut this off because we don't need all this wire. And you know, guys, when you cut these off, don't throw these away. Believe it or not, these little wires have come in really handy a number of times when you cut off your. Um, your oh, I tell people all the time. You can make like little mini hooks and. Absolutely, these are invaluable. I always save those. Whoops. I've got glue on me everywhere. I'm going to cut this one off. Okay. What I kind of really wanted to do was almost cover up the heart. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Cover the heart up. Yeah. With the flowers. I think it would be purity. So, that's what I'm doing. Hey, Patsy. Hey, Patsy. And I am going to glue these. I want, even though these leaves are green, I want to put them in there because it just gives a spark of a little bit of color. Yeah, just like your, your image does. Right, right. I would leave them. You need color. I think staying in monochromatic color ranges like like whites and beiges and tans, and you don't add enough color, things can get lost. They can get lost, and it you know, and it can get. And and I will admit, I was one of those that was a little color phobic uh -huh. at one point. But you know what? Color is fun. Oh yeah. I mean, I used. I use. I've been using more color than I used to. So people that craft in color are happier. That's oh, a, yeah. yeah, they're happy. They're, and, you know, you can still do. For those of you who love shabby, like we all do, you can still do shabby with color. Oh yeah, uh, grays and pinks, blues. Wow. All of the pastel colors are shabby. Absolutely, it's the it's the hue of the color, not the color itself, that basically gives you that shabby look. I mean, bright bold colors, you know, like primary colors are probably not gonna. No, be, primary you know, colors, just like that little tinge of green right there. That is enough. Right. Pleasing for the eye, and it makes you, it draws you to the photo as well. Yes. It's just a placement of color and the colors you choose. It's just have fun with color. And Absolutely. Everything does not have to be beiges and whites. And yeah, you know, I did this one a lot in white because I wanted it to represent winter. You well, know. Yeah, you also, you represent yeah. winter with purples and blues, like the yes, uh, the or lights in Alaska. Oh, this is hard to handle, guys. So there's the flowers on the little heart. I love this. Oh my God, you blew this out of the water, girlfriend. Blue, blue. I think I am gonna put one more little um, poinsettia-like flower on here because I like these. They look like poinsettias to me. Oh, I do. Yeah, do that. Go for it. I like these. I don't even know what these are called or where I got these. I've had them. I've got a you know a bunch of different flowers. I don't have a lot of um, Christmas ones, and that's really what I was looking for. But when I saw these earlier, I'm like, ah, that looks like a white poinsettia. And when you glitter it, it makes it even prettier. Oh, Everything yeah. better with glitter. Even Danny. <laughs> Uh, Luna has glitter on her. Does she? Yes. Luna has glitter. Because she's sparkly like that. If anyone wants to know, Luna is the cutest hamster in the world. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. 
Robin can sit there and say, hi, Luna. Hi, Luna. And she'll stop and she'll listen for her. Yeah, she'll look at the computer screen like if we're on Skype. She'll start sniffing the computer screen like, how did she get in there? Where is that person talking to me? <laughs> and then yeah. she, Robin saw her do acrobats. <laughs> No, the coolest thing with Luna is watching her eat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my word. I'm like, seriously? We gave her a banana chip. Well, I figure, you know, she'd nibble it, break it off, you know. No. Robin saw it. Robin saw it with two eyes. That banana chip was what? Maybe an inch long? Maybe a, bowl. To be. Maybe a little longer. Maybe a little longer. She stuck the whole thing. In the jowl, in her mouth. Yes, she did. And her cheeks puffed out like, oh, my word. It was hysterical. <laughs> it's crazy. She is a nutty little hamster. Yeah, my family got her for me for a birthday. And I just, she's just a, she's just cute. Danny holds her. Danny's in love with her as much as, as Angela is. Yeah, Danny spoils her. He gives her little snacks, and I said, "You're making her fat. She can't fit in her house now." But it's so cute when her and Danny are playing with Luna. They like sit next to each other, and Luna plays with them. It's just the cutest thing. Yes, Patsy. Yeah, you can add red in somewhere as well. Oh, absolutely. You can add, you know, and you can add all your own elements to this too. Oh, this yeah. Take those white flowers that she's going to provide and, and color them. Yeah. Color the color the church. Absolutely. Color everything. You can change the picture too if you don't want to use that picture. Change the picture, yeah. Put Santa Claus up in yeah. there. You could do, you know, I was kind of going with a more, you know, um, serene kind of church. Well, Robin, it would help if you put glue in there. What a dingbat. You know, just kind of going with that serene, wintry, um, you know, kind of like a, a forest church. But you could use a little girl. You could use an angel in there. You could put angels inside here. That would be gorgeous, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know how you can go, like, to the dollar store or something and get those miniature little figurines? Yes. Plop that in there. There's, oh, thousands of ways you can make these. So that's the little winter scene. I love it. With the baby and Mary. Baby Jesus and Mary. And then I did, what I did up here is I added four um, of the little faux points at us because it should be in odd numbers. And the bird is the fifth element. Yep. So um, it just makes it more pleasing to the eye when you use odd numbers. And I think it's just prettier. It's gorgeous. He's all surrounded. So we have the pearls for hanging. And like I said, if you don't want to put this dangle on here, if you want to make this into um, something that you could display, you could simply, you could even leave, leave the dangle on there if you wanted to, and just glue it to that big snowflake. Now this I would definitely, if you're going to use the snowflake, definitely use the E6000. Yes. Definitely. Now you could put this on here and hang it as well. You and know, if they wanted to lay it on the on the snowflake, they could take that dangle and put it at the top with a bow. Yeah, yeah, you could. Uh huh. You could. Yep. So you could. I mean, it's the possibilities are. You know, they're there. Whatever you want to do with them, it's it's just there for you to do. You just made this go so easy. Thank you, hon. But this. <laughs> This is it, ladies and gentlemen, because Clint is here. I have to include Clint. Um, there you have it. So I hope that you've liked it. I know we run, you know, I kind of finished this a little quicker than I anticipated, but we can chit chat for a minute or six if you would like. But that's it. That is my concept for the kit. 
And like I said, you could do this however you wanted to. I'm looking at this and thinking, you know, if you put a forest back in there with a bunch of different sisal trees and a little church, and you could even put the bird inside. Oh, yeah, a lady in a blanket of snow. Yeah, yeah. I mean, just endless possibilities. So, so there we go with that. I'm going to, oh, you lay still. Everybody loves it. You got 22 thumbs up. All right. Well, thank you guys. So, any questions or comments or? Just be sure to uh, contact Robin if you want one of the last three kits. And also let her know if you want the church pre-built or do you want to build the church? Right, right. Because, you know, I drew the pattern out because I had another church, but it was just way too big um to go inside here and it, it just i couldn't accomplish what i wanted to accomplish with it so i just decided to make a smaller one and that was kind of fun actually actually kind of fun hold on me danny hold on hold on hold on danny. hold on hi danny so there you have let me get back to let me go to chat and see <laughs> okay patsy's on her way to come pick it up patsy wants to hey moppy i gotta put my glasses on because i can't read the okay hey gail thank you patsy i appreciate that michelle scott jada hi susu Phyllis, Clint, yes, Clint, we will add you, yes. <laughs> Patsy is going to take a moving van to Ruby's house. Patsy's always going to take a moving van somewhere. Jado, you could very easily put that snowflake on the back. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, I'm slicker than snot. Thanks, Poppy. <laughs> That's a compliment. Yes. Thank you, Ruby. Thank you, Gail. Okay. Maybe Ruby can hang that on her Christmas tree in her house she is building. Maybe Robin, I have to run real quick, but it has been. Okay, sweetie. This is absolutely amazing. And good night, everyone. Night, Angela. Thanks for being here. No problem. Okay. Yeah, Ruby, the dangle does come with the cat absolutely yes yeah patsy you could put red you could put anything you want anything hi sandra yeah color is great Sherwin Williams, 2016 color of the year is alabaster. So Jeff and I painted everything alabaster. Sigh, not sure what I was thinking. Color mop. Thank you, sweetie. <laughs> Gail, definitely a floating brain moment. That is too funny. Yeah, yeah, Gail, that's a good way to describe it. Very Christmas card kind of scene. Awesome. You guys rock. You really do. Really, 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 really do. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree, Ruby. She would need a freight truck. Oh, now she's going to rent the freight truck. Okay. Yeah. So, I had color robin, then I covered it with alabaster. Well, Moppy, what were you thinking? I just want to know, what were you thinking? Do you love the alabaster? Let me just ask that. If you love the alabaster, then that's all there is to it. I personally think it's pretty. Okay. Ouch. Oh, I have to show you. I'll, I will be doing a shout out video because I got happy meal today. <laughs> oh, Ruby rented her house out to Clint. 
Sorry, Patsy. I wanted to show you guys. Um, I'm on the wrong place here. I can't see what I'm showing you from there. I got this. Can you see that? How pretty that is? And this and some other things from Pamela. They came in the mail for me today. And I will be doing a video to show the other stuffs that I got um, from Pam. But Pam, thank you again. I truly, truly, truly appreciate this very much. Um, you just, it's just, when somebody sends you something just from the heart, it just, it just makes you feel so good. You know, it really does. And you guys make me feel good. You guys coming out here and supporting us and, you know, being with us and just always being here and being happy. It means a lot. It means a lot to each and every one of us. And we love you sincerely. We really, really, really need that. And I think I'm starting to um, get snuffled up. I think maybe Karen might have given me um, a viral cold. I think it's Karen's fault. What do y'all think? I think we should blame it on Karen. Yeah. Yes, Pam does have a big heart. And we do love her. She is a very, very sweet, sweet person. Honest to goodness, she is. Okay, ladies. I'm going to call this done. And I thank you so much. If you are interested, I only have three left. Um, just hit me up on Facebook or you could, you know, leave me a message here. Um, thank you, Samantha. I appreciate that, honey. Um, so just, you know, just let me know if you'd like one. Um, cause you know, first kit kind of small amount, but, um, cause I wanted to, uh, test the water, so to speak and not drown. Okay. So good night all. Love you all. And please be kind to one another. Take care and God bless you. We'll see you in the next video. Love you. Bye. Mwah.